Taxes. They are as certain and old as history itself. It was granted here in the United States for Congress by the Constitution under the 16th Amendment, and throughout our country's history, Republicans and Democrats have been under constant debate on who to tax, what to tax, and by how much. A slogan for the left that has grown louder in recent years is to tax the rich. Democrats feel as those with wealth, dubbed the 1%, have not paid their fair share in debt to society. We disagree. So whether it's at the dinner table with friends or to a member of Congress, here's how to argue about taxing the rich. So what exactly does the left mean by taxing the rich? It has quite a few facets. First, they believe that the rich do not pay their fair share of taxes. America's tax code is commonly misinterpreted. We have a progressive tax code. In fact, the top 3% pays for 51% of the individual federal income tax, while the bottom 47% pays nothing. The left alleges that raising taxes on the rich would alleviate the federal budgetary deficit. However, the true issue here rears its ugly head. Budgetary deficits have grown larger as the government creates more spending programs and increases control over the economy. America does not have a tax revenue problem. It has a spending problem. Second, the ultra-rich are using tax avoidance schemes to hide their wealth and pay less than their fair share. We need a wealth tax. Wealth taxes are incredibly hard to calculate on a large scale. Not only is it a staggering administrative burden on the IRS to assess an individual's wealth, from real estate, intellectual property, artwork, and so on, poring over complex financial records becomes problematic instantly. Yes, it has been done in the past. However, out of the dozen countries that have had a wealth tax, only a handful still have them. The reason? It is estimated that over 10,000 people with 35 billion euros left the country just in France. It was a major disaster that significantly affected the economy. It does not work. Another issue is that the left feels as though the rich don't invest money in creating better jobs. They hoard their wealth to support lavish lifestyles. The rich don't just park money in a savings account. They invest it, driving economic activity and growth. In 2019, the top 1% paid a greater share of individual income taxes than the bottom 90% combined. Taxing this investment tanks employment, discourages productivity, and wages subsequently plummet. And finally, we need to lift the poor out of poverty and redistribute wealth from the rich to the poor. The left supports increasing the highest taxes up to 70%, but taxing the rich will not lift people out of poverty. Capitalism is the only system in the history of the world that has succeeded in making poor people rich. Our government needs to create a business-friendly environment in which they can thrive, which leads to capital investment and economic growth. You cannot make the rich poor if you want to make the poor rich. What are your thoughts? Will taxing the 1% reduce income inequality? Or will it bloat government programs, increase the deficit, and widen the gap? For more information on how to argue about taxing the rich and other debated topics, go to freedomworks.org or click the link in the description below.